The Family Research Council's Tony Perkins also serves as the chair of the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom. The commission is among those voicing concern about the withdrawal of American troops from Syria. Tony, thank you for being with us. Thank you. You have a unique voice as the chair of USERF, but also an influential evangelical advisor with the ear of the president. What was your direct message to President Trump about the pullout? Well, we're very concerned about the implications this has for religious freedom in northeast Syria. What's happened there, really because of uh, ISIS, a byproduct of that is people of different backgrounds, Kurds, uh, Muslims, uh, Christians, Yazidis, came together out of necessity, formed their own government, uh, are working together, developed in their charter religious freedom. Uh, religious freedom of the American sort, meaning that you can not only believe a certain way, but you can practice that faith and you can change your faith, which is very unique outside of Israel in the Middle East. And so our concern was that this was in its, uh, really in its infancy, beginning to develop in the U.S. presence. You know, six months ago this was debated. Uh, there was a coalition force left there to protect uh, the Kurds and the Christians in this uh, unique uh, society there in northeast Syria. With the withdrawal of U.S. Uh, presence there, this opens up to, uh, to Turkey uh, to come in after the Kurds. The Kurds have been kind of providing the protection to the, the Christians and the others in that region. So very concerned about the implications for religious freedom. Tony, what kind of pressure did you and other evangelical leaders put on President Trump? Well, I wouldn't necessarily describe it as pressure. It's just a matter of we're advocating for what we believe to be the right policy. And, you know, whether the, the president uh, hears it or not, we're going to, to speak it. And I'll have to say that I was uh, uh, very um, encouraged not to be the only voice on this, that uh, almost uh, without exception, uh, evangelical leaders and others have spoken out about this policy. Because, look, we've told, we told the Kurds that, look, you, you know, we don't agree with you on everything, but you've been providing a, a very strategic role in this region of the world. You, we... We were partners in going after ISIS. Uh, you provided uh, critical security in that region for this blossoming democracy. And so we got your back. Well, um, we've, with, we've kind of withdrawn that pledge. Does this hurt President Trump with his evangelical base? Well, we'll wait to see what happens. You know, I, there's been some signals that, uh, you know, they're trying to clarify this policy and, and it, it's, you know, maybe misinterpreted as a broad as it may not have been as broad as it was interpreted. I, I don't know. I, I hope the president will do the right thing, will maintain this small presence of U.S. military forces. It's just a thousand. Uh, but six months ago, there was a, uh, an intense effort to negotiate a allied presence there, a coalition presence uh, with France, Germany, and others. And just, we're talking about a thousand troops. And these are mostly advisors and trainers for the other forces that are there. And so this is not, the return on the investment is so much in disproportion. We're getting so much more out of these thousand troops than what it's costing us. Tony, the administration champions religious freedom around yes. the world. Yes. Trump yes. says that he's fighting religious persecution. How does this pull out square up with that? Well, that's, that's where it's, it's, it's perplexing because this administration has a stellar record. I was at the UN two weeks ago when the president, uh, you know, challenged the uh, global community to do more to protect houses of worship and religious sites and challenged businesses to respect religious freedom in the workplace. So th their, their record on religious freedom is unmatched. So this is perplexing uh, for, for many. But here's the thing. Look, we have deep respect and appreciation for what this president does. I pray for him uh, every day. But I have an obligation, as do other evangelical leaders, to speak out for what we know to be right and to speak out in defense of, of others. Uh, first of the household of faith and then uh, others. We believe every human being should have a right to believe as they choose and should be free to do so without threat of, of government or other actors. Tony, always good to see you. Thank you so much for coming in today. Great, thank you all for covering this important topic.